it has going to be start here is to well, channel the cheese and we are taking a look at the market what kind of book is available there in this video let's take a look at the uh, press release right something that was published on the 2nd of January so eight days ago or so and within this press release they're taking a look at the uh, taking reforms to boost confidence in BBC's importantly uh, uh, and compliance systems that are in midterm review. BBC is uh, a news broadcasting uh, government institution, right? Or at least it's funded heavily funded by, uh, if not entirely, by taxpayers, right? Perhaps uh, they do have some customers, but they have so many, perhaps, properties in the city centers and everything. So, myself, I mean, <laughs> I don't understand how they're going to address confidence this year. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Uh, take a look at funding, right? So, if uh, as of now BBC is funded by taxpayers, perhaps let's uh, take. Uh, uh, I have mentioned that previously, right? So let's uh, set up uh, perhaps ten different companies, uh, entrepreneurs, and how we can solve this problem when it comes to information, right? But uh, would uh, be in the interest of the government to have one company, and they can heavily monitor the company, and then we have confidence issues. <laughs> Governments uh, recommends reforms to boost public trust in the BBC following the review and all midpoint of its year's charter. Uh, that all uh, I don't know who is watching it. <laughs> That's a better question. Can we share some information who is watching it and why we, uh, taxpayers are paying for it? <laughs> we'll look at some of the bullet points. Uh, that really the first one. The review recommends uh, greater independent scrutiny of compliance handling, proving transparency of commercial or media organizations and in extending of com oversight over more based online services so this is uh, what they're recommending i think that's an organization again it's been funded by the government so <laughs> where's the independent ofcom I, i'll do a quick dive right what is ofcom right perhaps it's not uh, it might be independent company but uh, let's take a look at it but <laughs> i think it's all thing is <laughs> it's a front for people who don't know what's really happening let's forget BBC urged to better reflect diverse views and options in decision making and improve engagement with understanding audience groups among the other key recommendations. Ofcom stands for Office of Communications. So, so this office is controlling the media. So now what they're saying is this office needs to oversight so it will be less control of this office to control media. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, <laughs> good let's see. okay okay so the uh, controlling body of the information sharing gonna control more of the way how information is shared or they're gonna do a little bit more of the front that they if anything they're doing something so they, they're doing like, if you would ask me they did something that they are doing something but they're actually they're not doing anything <laughs> how many people had to complain about how heavily uh, taxpayers funded a, a media agency has been uh, pushing its own agenda how heavily how many people had to complain about it for this thing to get to this point where there is a need to have any reviews how heavily <laughs> hundred thousand people had to complain to one half a million had to complain about how, how tax money has been used to push very particular agenda, half a million people. <laughs> so <there's, laughs> let's take a look at this article and try to understand it. The government has recommended major reforms to help boost uh, audience confidence, so people will begin watching it again. <laughs> well, who cares? Why government needs to intervene? Why why government needs to take part in it? Right. So we can solve the problem like right, that. Government is looking to control the media. And then uh, government is looking to control and push the narrative. The now uh, government is looking again to control and restore confidence. Again, with the taxpayers' money, we're looking to restore confidence. If government is looking to control media, what people can say and monitor free media. So perhaps there's a bigger issues there. But the whole thing is, uh, I don't know. We we can we can have a little bit of fun reading this article, but for people who can think for themselves, say they understand what I'm saying. This is what's really happening. So how you can fund 
propaganda machine. So this is K. This is K. funding. You pro. Uh, you funding the uh, media who has its own agenda and they're pushing that kind of agenda onto you. And people will begin complaining, and now they need to restore it. <laughs> why is it, why don't you? Uh, I think they. Uh, but either way, without going too much into detail, right? Let's uh, take a look at this article and see uh, what people and how they're going to be restoring that confidence. So it, it all thing is fun again. It's a fun exercise. How the taxpayer bears money being used. Nothing got so out of control, and people begin complaining about misleading the people or pushing their own agenda, right? Uh, if uh, there is a committee, <laughs> so I'm committee and you're going to be looking to address this issue, right? <laughs> There's a way how information might be considered, been reporting information, right? So that could be who, what, where, then, why, and how. That's it. Answer those uh, six questions, right? And presenting information without uh, additional feelings and what uh, things uh, should be done and everything but they, they keep failing to do that because and the BBC keep failing to do that and they keep going off the standard then they uh, uh, misleading people by pushing particular agenda uh, this is uh, where we are right now <laughs> let's come back to this article uh, the government has recommended major reforms to help boost audience confidence in BBC's what about the uh, uh, section of the company, uh, starting a new one? Yeah, this company is out of control. <laughs> it's too much. They start a new one, perhaps 10 different companies. Uh, so that would be my uh, new opportunities for entrepreneurs, even better. And uh, let's uh, see how government will try to control 10 companies. <laughs> might be a little more of a challenge, I guess. Reportedly, the compliance system is following the first midterm review published by the government today. Launched at the halfway point of BBC in 11 year Royal Charter, the mid term review evaluates the effectiveness of the government and the regulatory agreements introduced by the Charter in 2017, which recommends to ensure the best outcome for audience. Audience will uh, be given greater certainty that they compliance about BBC <laughs> TV, radio, and uh, demand uh, content, including concerns about the bias are dealt with fairly throughout the greater scrutiny in uh, compliance across uh, which has been made more independently from the government make, uh, makers program makers a new uh, legally binding uh, responsibility of the bbc board will require it to actively oversee the bbc's compliance procedures and show the audience that their concerns are being fairly considered uh, all things is a mess they, they're trying to control and to such a point where things got out of control and they're trying to implement more measures to control the media instead of uh, reporting on the key facts, right? The midterm review stressed the need or, uh, for BBC to clearly demonstrate how it will meet its obligations to distinctiveness over the remaining of its charter period and for the BBC to meaningfully engage with its competitors such as radio stations and the local newspapers and considering change in services. It's a mess. It's such a all thing is a mess. The government consulted that BBC and Opcom closely on the recommendations of experts them to implement uh, in a timely manner. <laughs> the government has also identified some of the key issues and the results of the midterm review that needs to be further considered the next charter review before 2027. In particular, we will be continuing to place strong emphasis on impartiality and <laughs> compliance, including the reviews to the effectiveness of BBC social media guidance and aware as BBC first model formally introduced by the Charter in 2017. Process remains the right model for compliance as well as how the distinctive BBC output and services are from those commercial providers. The government has highlighted these priorities for the next charter in uh, correspondence with BBC. Right? Uh, let's take a look at uh, BBC struggling. BBC struggling reporting uh, everything accurately since people have been complaining. Let's see BBC struggling. What kind of budget BBC is working with? <laughs> let's take a look at how how, how this organization is struggling. I think the whole thing is a mess. The whole thing is a mess. I'm the, uh, I don't want to even bring uh, any attention to. Uh, what's really happening right let's see uh, how this organization is struggling with what kind of budget is struggling i have managed to find 
BBC's groups handle reports and accounts for 2023 to 2023. Let's take a look at the budget and perhaps let's hire a couple more people to monitor all the content. <laughs> How information should be presented. Uh, I think the people are there, they have uh, money to hire best people. Uh, people are there. <laughs> they, they have hired the best of the people, right? Uh, we're going to take a look at the budget in a second, right? They have already hired best people. The problem is that those best people are hired to push some uh, particular agenda to the people. That's a pro problem. And uh, since they pushed a little bit too hard, they need to step down just a little bit so people would not miss notice of what's been pushed onto them. Okay, I think I have found it, right? So it's uh, publicly available information, right? Uh, well, only thing I want to know, what's the budget that they're operating with? Uh, the way how these smart people presenting this information. I'm just getting tired of reading it. That's just me, right? Since this is the way how this information has been presented. Let's take a look at uh, number one taxpayers uh, set up a body to push particular agenda to the people. They say uh, they can other companies say within you cannot think they can compete with that. But either way, so that will be number one trusted. Well, here you go. So it's not trusted, is it? <laughs> we already discussed this within this article that it's not uh, trusted by people who are actually viewing. So what they, they already, uh, so they have failed already. <laughs> it's not trusted. If it was trusted, we not need to have this review. It's something that I'm taking a look at within uh, today's article. So it's not trusted. So again, so they already failed uh, <laughs> to deliver on uh, <laughs> we do not say what they're looking to achieve. They're looking to achieve for people to trust what they're doing uh, when it comes to pushing a particular agenda. Well, what they need to achieve is to be not biased and in presenting information. <laughs> so it's not trust. <laughs> so the next time when they're publishing this report, they will just change it, right? I think the budget that they're working with, that would be 4.9 billion pounds. Or so, uh, there might be even more, I guess. I guess, perhaps even for this year. So, uh, so much uh, information over here is misleading, so I'm, I'm just tired of reading all of it. But that was just an example of how, uh, how information can be presented. And uh, the way how this information is presented is number one, number one, number one. I'm just tired already of reading, uh, reading this information since there's uh, people out there, uh, young entrepreneurs who are reporting information accurately. And uh, if you want information to be presented in a very particular way, so to say, most trusted, it's all uh, misleading people out there. <laughs>very busy there are so many projects uh, to complete today I'll, I'll close on that uh, that's that would be just an example of uh, how tax money works when it comes to pushing particular agenda right so that's uh, uh, national broadcaster within the UK which is great which is great so there's gonna be review uh, to restore the trust and that's number one trusted organization right which is great our government is doing something perfect how uh, if I w if it was me I have suggested within the studio just to be a little bit on more productive side that would be who what where then why and how if uh, then watching uh, any information online or on TV or anything uh, they could answer this question without saying number one trust that <laughs> that would be great that's the only thing what I want <laughs> thanks for watching I'll see you next one.